Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So this is gonna be just a quick hit. We, uh, what we do for fun around here on a Saturday is we go to Sam's Club. So I'd like to show you what I found. Um, I'll go over everything, give you my total, and let's see what I got. All right, this is what I picked up. So the first thing that even got me to go to Sam's Club today is I saw on somebody else's haul this Dorito Nacho Cheese Smart Pop Popcorn, 70 calories per cup. Yes, we tested it on the way home. Yes, we are getting it. We have to buy it every time. Definitely recommend. Tastes exactly like Doritos, but being Smart Pop just feels so much better. So definitely, totally worth it that I spent all this money at Sam's Club for one item. Um, who can go past some Cheddar Bay Biscuit Mix? Delicious. Looks so good. You would think that we're the most healthy family in the world. Yes, we eat spinach and we love it, but we also have two guinea pigs in the house. So, giant thing of spinach. Um, I love the produce at Sam's Club. I think it lasts really long. It's really, um, high quality. So we got some cucumbers and some of these angel sweet tomatoes. Um, I was thinking of even cutting them up together and, um... Having, adding some of this feta cheese to it. Delicious. Delicious meal. Lunches for work. Um, another thing I saw in somebody's haul, I didn't get to try this yet, is we are going to try this as a new item there. Seasoned chicken for lettuce wraps. Just add the lettuce. Um, so it's like cut up chicken, seasoned, warm it up, and there you go. This is what we are having for lunch today. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this ground beef was really good price. Let's see if I can see it here. Four eighteen a pound for ninety three percent lean. Um, so you get three one pound packages. Love that. Um, love their lunch meat. I don't know if you've had um, Members Mark Sam's Club lunch meat. It is really delicious. We've gotten a few different flavors before. This is Dan's favorite, the um, peppered turkey breast. Really good quality, um, delicious, large pack. Um, I'm a super avid Aldi shopper, and this is a better price and I think, you know, much better quality. So definitely worth it. Speaking of Aldi, they have not had their coffee creamer in stock. So we decided to go for it, get this big Coffee Mate coffee creamer at Sam's Club. Um, that is the kind that Dan uses in his coffee every morning. And I've been thinking about getting this for a while. Of course, everybody knows Tony's brand is really good. All their seasonings and flavorings are good. Um, and I buy so many taco seasoning packets, so I decided to just go for it, get the big thing. Um, so a tip for you out there, when you, a packet has approximately three tablespoons, so three tablespoons of this, um, if you're used to you know making one pound of meat, you'd use three tablespoons of the seasoning mix. Um, is the ratio that you would use. I think that's sometimes why we buy that seasoning mix. We just are so used to it, and you're like, I don't even know how much would I use. Garlic. Love this garlic. We have not bought this. I don't think we've ever bought this giant pack, but um, we use it enough. We go through those little jars that I get at Aldi um, really, really quickly, so definitely, definitely worth it. Um, this Members Mark Whole Bean Colombian Supreme Coffee is the best value. This is around $13. It is 40 ounces. It's whole bean. Um, we grind our beans every morning to make our cup of coffee. Um, I bought, so we didn't get to Sam's Club last week. I was out of this. I ended up at Walmart, bought a different brand, and you could just tell when you open the container that the beans are just not as fresh. Um, let me show you this too. Dan got some vitamins. He's not over 50, but you know, whatever. Um, and then we're going to try this. Looked really yummy too. I've never tried this. Let me know if you have. Um, this is like their pre-made items. Um, I think it's got directions. You just kind of throw it in the oven, um, mix it up. This is macaroni and cheese. I thought that was a pretty good deal, $4. And then you know who was standing outside the door as we left. So yes, we support our Girl Scouts. Got some Girl Scout cookies. And this was another thing I wanted to show you. Another reason why uh, we went. So we have a dog. He's a senior dog. He's over seven years old. Um, 
And we have been buying him. I got it out of the cupboard to show you. So this is what we have been buying. This Purina Pro Plan 7 Plus Complete Essentials. Um, this is a 34 pound bag of Purina and that costs around $60. This 35 pound bag um, at the Members Mark brand at Sam's Club was like 32, I believe, 32, right around there. So it was definitely a better value. Um, I like now, especially on these higher end brand dog foods, they are putting um, the nutrition in everything. I know that um, in the past, anyway, some different brands, they wouldn't even put the nutrition or their ingredient list. So they had three choices too. They had lamb, chicken, or salmon. We decided to uh, give him lamb first because the one he has been eating, Purina, has been chicken. And dogs sometimes get funny and don't want to switch up their food. So I thought, well, if it's a different meat source, he might like it. Um, but I went down the list, and on the Purina, here is, this is the Sam's Club one. The Purina one is almost identical. Um, I will say, the font is smaller, but there is a little bit more, is that clearing out? A little bit more protein. Oh, I'm showing you the Spanish version. There you go. Well, if you speak Spanish, there you go. And if you don't, here you go. Um, so the protein is 29 on the Purina, and it's 26 on the Sam's Club. So uh, still totally, I think, comparable. We call it a comparable product. And I'm really excited. I do expect him to like it. He's a dog. He likes everything. Um, but... That is what we did this afternoon, our little Sam's Club haul. Our total amount was $154.87. Not too bad, especially thinking that um, over $30 was just on the one item there. So um, there you go. Go check out Sam's Club. If you're there, if they have this, highly recommend to get it. It's delicious. Okay, just popping back to show you. So um, this is what we had to get last uh, week. This is 8 o'clock. That's what it's called, that 8 o'clock coffee. And that's what the color is. And that's what it looks like of the whole beans. And then I just opened up this one. Look at that. Look at that. So they are so much better of a roast. Um, it's not totally coming across on camera, but the shine, like these just definitely just, you could tell they have not been packaged and waiting around as long as these beans have. Um, and this is in a sealed Tupperware container and it's only been a week and the, the, you could just tell the smell is like gone from the eight o'clock. I mean, obviously once I grind them, they do smell really good, but even this, you know, you could just tell a difference. So just to give you a little heads up there, definitely recommend this coffee. All right. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button um, so you can see whatever I come up with next, whether we're cooking or shopping or doing a grocery haul. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe, hit your notification bell, and I'll see you next time. Bye.